Jenna Bush Hager's inheritance makes the headlines. Laura Ingram, $40 million, 60. The success of Laura Ingram is one of the most amazing things to happen in modern media. She was able to keep her show, The Laura Ingram Show, on the air for more than 10 years before she moved to Fox News and became the host of her show, The Ingram Angle. Both shows have strong numbers to back them up. The radio show was one of the five most listened to projects, and the TV show usually holds the top spot. Laura has a net worth of $40 million, thanks to her impressive background. Additionally, Laura has written several books that have helped her make a lot of money. Bill O'Reilly $85 million, 73. Bill O'Reilly has a net worth of $85 million from his work as an author, writer, and news host. This seems to be enough to support him in his retirement. During the height of his career, Bill built a good name for himself and worked for major news networks like ABC, CBS, and Fox News. His deal with Fox News was not extended, so his show, The O'Reilly Factor, stopped in 2017. Who knows, there may be something cooking in Bill's mind, and he may soon make an amazing comeback. Savannah Guthrie, $30 million, 51. Savannah Guthrie was first hired by NBC News in 2007 as a law expert and crime reporter. Later, she became a White House reporter and an anchor on The Daily Rundown. But becoming the main co-anchor on Today in 2012 was her big break. Sources say that she's now worth about $30 million and that she's still on the show. It's not just news jobs that the 49-year-old Guthrie takes on. She also hosts projects from other shows. She was a guest host on Jeopardy in June 2021. Anderson Cooper, $200 million, 56. Anderson Cooper has been a writer for over 30 years and is best known for hosting Anderson Cooper 360 on CNN. With so much experience, it's no surprise that he's one of the most recognized reporters in the business. There are rumors that the reporter makes $12 million a year, which has made him worth over $200 million. Cooper has made a lot of money in the media, but he also comes from a wealthy family, the Vanderbilts, and his mother made a lot of money in the fashion industry. So when she died in 2019, the writer got some of the money as an inheritance, which made his bank account much bigger. Al Roker, $70 million, 68. Throughout his more than 30-year career, Al Roker has become one of the most famous TV hosts. The weatherman makes it rain with a $10 million pay. He's best known for reporting on the weather. The man who used to be a DJ is also a talented author who's written several books. These books have helped to make a nice fortune about $70 million. Roker spends his millions on real estate. His most recent purchase is a beautiful home in Manhattan and on different charities because he cares a lot about helping people. Clint Eastwood, $375 million, 93. He never thought that his path to becoming an actor would lead him this far. During his career, he got a lot of praise, and Rawhide was where he got his big break. He has a net worth of $375 million, which puts him in the same league as the biggest Hollywood stars. He's done this by starring in several westerns. Clint is on the creative team for several projects, but he's no longer acting because he's too old. We'll just say that the man won't stop getting rich. People think of him as a personification of Western film culture in the 1980s, and we have to agree. Sandra Bullock, $200 million, 56. Would it be possible to make a list for Sandra Bullock? Let's find out. As well as being beautiful, she's also very skilled and wealthy. Bullock has made a wealth of $200 million by working for well-known film companies. The star is still one of the best actors, even though she has smaller parts these days. As a fan, you must be wondering what Sandra is doing with that much money. That's it. Her home, which costs $16.9 million, is one of the big purchases she's made with her money, and we bet she'll be making many more. Jenna Bush, 42, $400 million. Barb Bush and Jenna Bush Hager's $400 million could be left as an inheritance. 
Some sources say that the Bush family has a net worth of around $400 million, which is more than the Rockefeller family. Jenna Bush Hager's last name carries a lot of weight because it comes from two U.S. presidents. She changed it when she married Henry Hager in 2008. Alexandra Breckenridge, 39, $2 million Alexandra Breckenridge is a beautiful mother of two and an exciting actress. When she was 10 years old, she went to California with her mother. She fell in love with Hollywood right away. Since she was 15, she's wanted to be in show business. Her first job was as an extra in the teen movie Big Fat Liar. After that, things only got better for Breckenridge. In the end, she got roles on Dirt, The X List, and American Horror Stories. She was most recently on Netflix's Virgin River. There's already $2 million in her bank account, but we all know that'll grow quickly. Bruce Willis $250 million, 67. Bruce Willis has unquestionably built a name for himself in the film business over the past 40 years. Since then, many people know him better for his parts in movies like Pulp Fiction, Unbreakable and Sin City than for his work as a performance artist. For instance, how many of his fans remember that he first appeared on stage in off-Broadway shows in the 1970s? Or that he used the skills that he learned as a private detective in Moonlighting? Fans who love Willis are the only ones who know that he has three solo records and is worth $250 million. Woody Harrelson, $70 million, 59. Woody Harrelson is a great actor who works with both young and old viewers. He played Hamish Abernathy in The Hunger Games, so younger people will know him. Fans of TV will remember his role as Woody Boyd, a bartender in the hit comedy Cheers. In movies like The Hunger Games and Money Train, he made a lot of money. He was paid close to $5 million for these roles. That's why Woody was able to buy the fancy home in Beverly Hills, where he lives happily with his wife, Laura Louie, and their three kids. Elizabeth Shue, 57, $12.5 million People around the world were shocked when they saw her in movies like The Karate Kid and Back to the Future. Elizabeth Shue is 56 years old now, but she still makes people feel that way. Even though she took a few short breaks, Elizabeth has never stopped acting. She played a part in the 2019 TV show The Boys, and now she'll be in The Greyhound with Tom Hanks. She's now made $12.5 million for herself. This is said to be the house Elizabeth bought in Los Angeles in 2008 for $1.65 million. Sarah Parrish, 52, Undisclosed Net Worth Sarah Parrish is a beautiful English actor who has been working since 1993 and has been in over 50 TV shows and movies. She may be best known for her role as the lead in the British thriller show Bancroft. She's also been in The Pillars of the Earth, Doctor Who, Merlin, Hearts and Bones, and many other shows. As a wife and mother, Parrish is also devoted to her husband, actor, and fundraiser Jim Murray, who she's been married to since 2007. We don't know how she finds the time to do everything since she's also working on the new TV show, Stay Close. Jenna Jameson, $5 million, age 47 Jenna Jameson is thought to be worth $5 million. She used to be an adult film star and now runs a business making money in the adult film business. She's known as the queen of porn and is the most popular adult performer in the world. Since the year 2000, she and her husband, Jay Gardenia, have run an adult business together called Club Jenna. Starting with a small role in Howard Stern's 1997 movie, Private Parts, Jameson has become well-known in pop culture. In addition, she's been a guest host or star on a lot of TV shows. Tom Selleck, 76, $45 million Tom Selleck became famous by appearing in hit TV shows like Blue Bloods and Magnum P.I., which is set in Hawaii. He's also known for the old movie Three Men and a Little Baby. But the 76-year-old has said that being a husband to his wife, Jilly Mack, and father to his two kids, one of whom is from a previous marriage, is his most important job. The American star is now worth $45 million, but he's still working as an actor. Indeed, he's still a part of Blue Bloods in 2021, 
having done so since 2010.